Hi, uh, this is Rose from Tranquility Fountain Farm. I am up in what we call Rose House. Um, this is also like a little uh, vegetable garden. We've got the wild garlic. Um, as you can see, I don't do much weeding. I just uh, pretty much let things grow uh, because there are lots of interconnecting relationships with all these plants. Um, so what I, what I wanted you guys to see today is how we mulch. Um, we use uh, raw, unwashed sheep's wool that's full of all the sheep doo-doo and the sheep urine and the straw and the, the um, I, think, I think it's called lin linenol or whatever. It's like the sheep grease um, from their skin, which is also used for moisturizer. And the reason why we use this is because, um, I don't know if you can see over there, but we are pretty much uh, a very, very hot limestoney clay area in the Mediterranean, in the foothills of the Pyrenees, mountains in France. This is uh, tobacco, uh, little poppy seeds, and this is a lot of where I get a lot of the seeds and things that I sell. Um, so here I'd like to pay, you to pay attention to the um, how dry the, the earth is. Now this is a mixture. I made a mixture here because I'm growing some bulbs that need a specific kind of mixture. But uh, the reason why we use um, uh, this kind of um, mulching is because sheep's wool keeps the moisture in the ground. Like here, you'll notice um, I, I've, I've just watered, but I, I hadn't watered this area. It's still unwatered. And you can see that it's still pretty moist. Right? It's still pretty moist because it's got the sheep's wool on it. And I haven't watered in two days. And we, we have been having 35 degrees every day. This is full summer, July 2020. I don't know. You should probably look it up on the internet what... What, what, what kind of weather we, we have here in Sebazan. Um, so we just use it raw and just plonk it down on the earth. But I was thinking that uh, for people who would want this kind of mulching, who have a more sort of a less um, farm <laughs> uh, garden, more sort of urban, more sort of... Uh, Nice beds, etc. Stylish, elegant, um, less of a farm, more of a house. Uh, you'd probably want uh, something a little bit different if you wanted to mulch with sheep's wool. So what I've done is I've designed something. Um, and I've felted. Uh, here, it's here. I've felted uh, a meter by meter of the raw wool. Now I've used brown on one side. Because, as my mother would say, don't you have it in sort of a different color? Um, yes, so uh, I, I reckon for all those people who don't want white um, around, their, around their pretty trees and their pretty gardens, uh, brown, same color as the earth, and a very gorgeous brown. And you see, it's felted together. So I'll show you a video of how I do the felting. It's a better example. And you see it's uh, quite thick. And here, there you go. So not only does this um, sort of stop uh, the moisture being evaporated from the ground, it also, um, uh, it also keeps uh, your roots uh, warm in the winter so it stops your plants from dying and you can keep them you can actually keep your perennials um going um longer uh in the winter um because of using a mulch like this um so what you would do is just uh, cut it up the side here and make a little sort of v here and then put this around the tree I mean, a lot like I have done here, except obviously 
I've just done that with raw wool because I'm 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 in a farm. <laughs> but for all you stylish people, um, I've designed this kind of thing here. So I'm selling them uh, one meter by one meter. They are hand uh, felted, hand felted, put together. As you can see, I'm kind of throwing it around. It's staying together. This this should last. Uh, about three years um, before it starts to really sort of fall apart and evaporate as long as like you know an animal doesn't get it and rip it and stuff dogs might want to come and um, sniff this and play with this because it does smell like a sheep so um, another amazing thing about this mulch as I said before is it's full of um, fertilizer, not not only nitrogen, but all kinds of trace elements and minerals and uh, amazing stuff for your plant. It's like an amazing fertilizer. I, I don't know how I can sort of impress this on you. What I'll do is I'll write down the chemical composition um, down there in the little uh, um, information boxy righty place. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm selling these on our little Etsy shop, um, and uh, I'll put all the other information down for you. It's an amazing way to uh, stop weeds growing around your plants so that the uh, plants can be stress-free and grow and take all the, all the moisture and all the nutrition from the soil uh, without competition. Um, it is, uh, so many things. Oh, it stops snails and slugs because, uh, if you look at wool under a microscope, it's got tiny little hooks. It's got tiny little sharp hooks on it. Um, think itchy, itchy winter wool sweater. Well, there you go. Snails and slugs do not like crossing it, so they won't get to your plants. Um, and, um, because I, be when you felt you have to add water and soap to change the pH of the wool so that you can like, mm, felt it and it comes together. Um, so we didn't, we didn't want to wash out all the fertilizer and all the goodness. So, um, I use a special, uh, traditional recipe using, um, linseed oil and black uh, black soap Savon Noir uh, which is also an insect repellent uh, in its own right and uh, actually very good for the plants so there you go I'll put other stuff down at the bottom I just wanted to interest you in uh, in this new product of ours um, there you go um, so check out our little Etsy shop you'll see lots of cool stuff Thank you for watching. Like if you like. Um, uh, subscribe if you wish. Uh, and see you again soon. Bye from Sebazan in the Mediterranean foothills of the Pyrenees, France. Take care. Bye.